you wanted to, to turn around and talk to the younger you who just got that deal, who was in New York about to sign on, that, you know that person about to come to you with the perks, whatever, what would you tell that kid? Because there's a lot of kids out there who's about to go in the Ooh, same situation. I love this question only because I thought about that like, I wish it was somebody, but if it was me like talking to me, I feel like I just tell like I just tell myself like I show him I go to YouTube and show him the withdrawals like I show him people talking about the withdrawals I show him like like this the, like it's pros and cons to this only like you gonna be feeling like this for this but you gonna be feeling like that for that see what I'm mm -hmm. saying Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Mm -hmm. I noticed whenever I asked you about um, why did you choose to get baptized, you started the um, to tell us, but you swerved and went to something else, but oh, you yeah. didn't finish. But no, is it because, like you were saying, all the things that you were going through, and you said the preacher was, it seemed like he was talking to you, talking yeah. to your spirit. So. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. I said, I, uh, it was like my partners had started dying and then I mm -hmm. had wanted, I was like praying for this moment, like to get off perks and mm -hmm. just be back to my regular self before the deal. So you were just moved to go up there and do it? Yeah, oh yeah. Was you shamed when you got up there? You didn't think nah, about it? Nah, nah, it's just like, I ain't even feel, I ain't even know I went up there. I, I just was up there and I was like, damn, like, cause where I was sitting at, I was like damn near in the middle of the church and it's so big, like the past, the preacher thing up there. And I was like with my sister and my girl and uh, like my family and shit. Mm -hmm. And then I had just got up. It just something got me up. I don't even know. I don't. I told them that I was like, bro, I ain't even feel because I don't never get up. I don't never be like, all right, I'm finna go up there for what? So I'm saying like, I don't want to. I too much me. So do you believe in the spirit? Because everything yeah. that you telling me is sounding like the spirit just moved you. Yeah, I believe. I believe in it only because like it's certain stuff that ain't happened that I didn't feel like it wouldn't have happened like that if it wasn't no higher power, like, right. you see what I'm saying? So I just feel like that, but. So getting baptized and giving your life, um, what has changed for you? What changed? <laughs> Cause you know, people always say, when you decide to give your life up to Christ, you know, you're supposed to have a different mindset on going forward. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say something though. And then, I know you gonna. Yeah, add I'm to gonna that. go in on y'all because y'all that's 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 crazy. I don't know. No, I don't know I, if nothing changed. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. Most people, when when people go through a change, a transformation, if they go through something, a lot of time people be wanting to see a change right away. But yeah. time, over time, over time, people change. Yeah. It don't be something to where. Uh, <laughs> it don't be mm -hmm. something to where basically you just. Um, you know, you you just this person all of a sudden they just changed and ain't to, never the same again. That it, it happens like that sometime, yeah. but sometime it don't. And so at the end of the day, as you go through your transformation, as you grow, I'm here for you. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's just like I'm grinding to get to that point. So I'm mm -hmm. saying, like I'm grinding to where I can just get everybody out the city and everybody be comfortable to do what they want to do. You know, like my family and the people that stay down with me, like. Even when, even with the error that I just was selfish and was on pills, you know what I'm saying? Like even the people that still was rocking with me and believed in me, I felt like I need, I owe them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's a lot of rappers out here that uh, start rapping, like get somewhere. Even though you don't owe nobody nothing, like you doing it for you or whatever your purpose is. I just feel like it's a lot of rappers out here that have started and then get selfish and then mm -hmm. get on drugs and then mm -hmm. they turn to nobody. You see what I'm saying? So I'm still young, I'm 23. So I'm saying I can't get like 25, 26 and still be and then try to make a comeback. Now it's going to be ugly for me. So if so you I'm wanted saying? to turn around and talk to the younger you who just got that deal, who was in New York about to sign on, that, you know, that person about to come to you with the perks, whatever. What would you tell that kid? Because there's a lot of kids out there who's about to go in the Ooh, same situation. I love this question only because I thought about that. Like, I wish it was somebody. But if it was me, like talking to me, I feel like I just tell like I just tell myself. Like, I show him. I go to YouTube and show him the withdrawals. Like, I show him people talking about the withdrawals. I show him, like, like this, the, like, it's pros and cons to this. Only, like, you gonna be feeling like this for this, but you gonna be feeling like that for that. See what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And I show him, like, okay, boom, just step back and look around. You in New York, you here, you ride wave right here. Ride wave ain't nobody right now. See mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You in, in a label with ride wave, y'all. Um, everybody is nobody. Nobody is nobody. Mm -hmm. But everybody, little TJ, nobody is nobody right now. Everybody mm -hmm. just around. 
It's just like they chose a path and I chose a path. You know what I'm saying? So right. it was just like I just tell myself like I just feel like I had to show them like what everything gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I just feel like I had to show them and I tell myself a lot. I tell myself to talk to my little brother and them. See what I'm saying? They, I feel like they wouldn't have never been in jail. Like, we just trying to be what my daddy and them was, but I don't feel like, see what I'm saying? It's not the right path. It's not the right, it's not the right path, but I, like, my daddy and them used to tell, we used to get in trouble for wanting to game bang and saying blood only because my daddy was trying to find another way out, but we didn't understand it. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, we didn't understand it, so... You know, like, as a kid, when you tell somebody something, don't do something, it make you want to do it more. Mm -hmm. See so what I'm saying? Like, just when you're not around. Mm -hmm. See so what I'm saying? So it's just like, when they wasn't around, it's just like we feel deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. I would have just told myself, like, the money. See so what I'm saying? Like, that's, I ain't going to lie. And that wasn't a big thing for me either. Like, I ain't going to, like, a lot of rappers probably get up here and be like, the I, was, I was trying to get some money. Like, I was in my situation, but I feel like, I feel like that's how it was because I was in it since a baby. See what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So the situation that it was, I, it was just fun to me. See what I'm saying? Like when I got around suburb people, it wasn't the same vibe as in the hood and right. struggling and exactly. having stuff and going to people's house and waking up and just having stuff, trampling. It wasn't the same vibe as being having nothing in the hood. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.